So lastly, and certainly not least, is the revenue. And how do you actually generate ongoing revenue? Um, as I said at the beginning, the, the revenue strategy that you need to have needs to be in place right from the word go. Or if it's not in place, there needs to be that framework or structure within a specific time frame that anyone coming to you and they say, what's your revenue strategy? You've got it in place already. Free, freemium at the beginning is absolutely fine, but very quickly you need to start ramping up. How does that actually translate into a sustainable revenue model? There are lots of different ways of actually thinking about revenue in this respect. And there's a lot of really, really good uh, books and talks about how do you get people to adopt a higher um, pricing strategy, for example. So, I mean, this is one which I just found online. And obviously, you see in the middle, that is the middle is the most expensive one, when traditionally, the way that they, the way that most companies have this is that it's a sliding scale from regular um, yeah, regular to basic to premium. And this is kind of, this one has changed it around a bit and they've stuck the middle one in the center, brought it forward as a way, and then actually promoted it as the more um, successful one. Now, of course, obviously the actual um, terms underneath are meaningless, but I wanted to give you an example of how you can think differently. And one of the keys to this, which we'll come on to in a minute, is, is split test everything. Nothing is set in stone. And it goes back to our original discussion when we were looking at, no, you can't make any assumptions. There's a really interesting um, talk. I think it's on, I think it's on um, one of the TED talks and it was talking about a pricing strategy. And what happened is that there was a uh, online web company, I forget the name, and they actually put up a basic an advanced and a professional uh, three tiered pricing model. And they actually made a mistake and put the pricing of advanced and professional as the same. So in this example, the, ex the same would have been basic no charge, advanced, let's hypothetically say um, $100 a month and professional also $100 a month. And obviously they had different, um, different uh, packages and different uh, levels of subscription that you would get with that. But the interesting thing was is that everyone went straight to professional and everyone missed out in this example advanced now if you think that and you extrapolate that and take it through to any kind of pricing model you look at if you want to push psychologically people up to the top end of whatever it is you're doing people will go for basic they'll go for premium that's absolutely fine but if you want to think about pushing people up to whatever be a the most expensive version of your service or product and if you look at pricing the two tiers of advanced and professional very, very close together and almost making it a no brainer, you know, almost making it uh, an obvious call to go for the professional. You will psychologically push everyone towards your more expensive option rather than your, your medium priced option. And while we're doing this, the whole thing that we're trying to achieve is a, is a consistently higher and growing monthly recurring revenue. So, uh, Google have been very, very good at this with AdSense in that they're constantly looking at how do we actually change our monthly uh, revenue cycle so that it actually increases month on month rather than just stay static. And one of the things which we always talk about is split testing all different revenue streams. So never assuming anything for the same. Even if you were looking at something like freemium versus a $1 free trial per month, then that's $1 extra per month coming in to increase your MMR. Uh, sorry, your M MMR, MRR. Also, if you might want to look at a difference in look in actually trialing with a universal increase across all the services of a price going up. And this is where you can exponentially really increase a lot of your revenue very, very quickly. So if you were to increase your uh, increase from a freemium trial to a one dollar freemium trial and increase it for, say, uh, a period of, say, 10 months or just five months, and look at what effect that has on the numbers of uh, on the retention strategy is these linkages that start to make an impact on when you're actually looking at growth in a specific and strategic way. I'll give you an example. So one of the things as well, when you're thinking about a revenue, increasing your revenue stream, there's more and more now is saying, oh, put your phone numbers on, you know, give us your phone number for increased security. I don't know if you've seen this on uh, Facebook or LinkedIn or Twitter recently. And, you know, 
you and I both know the reason for them asking for this isn't for, a, well, to a little bit, they get to increase our security. However, they also get your telephone number, which then gives their sales operators an opportunity to phone you and upsell you some advertising or some premium packages or some uh, monthly recurring invoicing. Um, but that's the whole reason for it. And so it's just something that can be as um, incidental as like a as like a telephone number for many people. Once you've got hold of that data, it can then also be sold if you wanted it to, if you stipulated it within the contract. And or alternatively, at the very minimum, it gives you an opportunity to upsell um, those customers to anything else you want to do. Or well, finally, another one, obviously, we've just passed uh, Black Friday and then there's Cyber Monday and goodness knows what else they'll be come next year. Um, but you can create these um, events yourself, you know, or even if it's not just you, it can be um, you and a group of others who start to look as more like a conglomerate and suggest, why don't we organize some kind of strategic um, event where everyone gets X percent off all of these complimentary programs. So the whole time the revenue is constantly compounding itself where you're trying to increase that every single time.